What's up you guys? Today I am going to take you through the steps of me applying for the pediatric board exam because some of you guys wanted to see that. So we are going to start here at the ARDMS.org website and what I'm going to do is go up here to my ARDMS login. I'm going to click that. I have my ID number and password so I'm going to log into there. And then once I log into this page, I'm going to apply for an examination. So when I go down, I'm going to apply here, click this green button. You can see all the options of exams that I can take. SBI, abdomen, breast, OBGYN. There's also echo and vascular, but today we want pediatric sonography. Now these all have windowed examinations, meaning you can only take them at a certain time and they're only open and available for you to apply at a certain time. So we're gonna click on pediatric sonography and click apply now. Once we click apply now, there's all these agreements that you have to go through and read over. I've taken two other exams before, abdomen and vascular, so I understand how the process works. So I'm going to click I agree. There's also other things you need to read and accept before you proceed. And I already know all these things because I have taken two other exams. So we're going to click I agree. And then after that, it's going to prepare my application. Now there's a ton of information in here that I don't want you guys to see. So we're just going to go by that. It asks for my personal information, my first name, last name, my date of birth, email address, my address of my house, my phone number. And so I'm going to click continue. And then it says at the test center, you must present one non-expired form of ID that must exactly match the first and last name on the application and meet all other stated criteria stated here. For a list of acceptable forms of ID, visit ARDMS.org slash check ID. And if your name on the application does not match your ID, click cancel below and stop the application process to update your ARDMS name of record. So basically just make sure your name and your ID both match whatever is on your application. So I'm gonna click okay because you gotta confirm your name. After that, it asks for my employer information. So I have my employer name, my address, city, and postal code, and the phone number from that employer. And this is the same employer from when I did take my other tests. So everything is still there and the same. It asks for employment and clinical education. It asks for the background. So if I'm like a student or where do I work? Do I work in a hospital? Do I work as a contractor or a consultant? Am I in an imaging center, outpatient clinic? So I'm gonna click my hospital one. It's acute care setting. And then it's gonna ask if I have any other credentials, which I don't really have because I just have RDMS. And then it asks for your education, which is still the same. So bachelor's degree. And it asks if I have ever been employed in the field of sonography. And yes, I have. So let's see. It's gonna ask if you require testing accommodations due to a documented disability. For me, the answer is no. I'm going to continue and hopefully it will load. <laughs> Okay, so somehow it works again. So I click continue. It's gonna ask me for compliance information. So I'm just gonna say click the yes or no button to indicate if you have received red, okay. Yep, the RDMS requires you to report all violations of the compliance policies. I don't have any violations and I acknowledge to the rules because they have lots of rules. So make sure you guys read all of those. Then it's gonna have the information verification so you're gonna have to make sure all your information is correct you're gonna verify everything all your information is there and perfect and your name birthday address employer where you work that you understand and you agree to everything oh well it looks like the exam itself is 250 dollars and the administration dates are between march 9 and april 8 2021 so i'm going to click continue now I'm gonna put my credit card information for $250. I got a Visa card here. So we're gonna put that in. $250, $250, yo. And you know, these are expensive, but it's the price of becoming a sonographer. <laughs> Expiration date. Okay, clicking the submit it says submitting your application. This may take a few minutes. 
the little green button that's loading loading button hopefully it goes through because earlier it wasn't working so hopefully it does it says there's a $50 fee for people who are taking exams at international testing centers outside of the US and Canada. Hmm. Uh-oh, it's taking a long time. It says this may take a few minutes. Oh, there we go. It says, thank you for using the ARDMS online application. As noted below in the right-hand column, the required documents must be in the ARDM ARDMS office on or before Saturday, January 30th, 2021. So it says required documents and payment. You have confirmed that the name on the application exactly matches the first and last name on one form of ID you intend to present for admittance to the testing center. So just make sure my ID and my name match. Please make sure my email address is correct. Um, bah, 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 contact information. Okay, now down here it says a completed ARDMS clinical verification form is required as a prerequisite for most applicants applying for a specialty examination. If you already have a valid clinical ver verification form on file, you will not need to submit another one at this time. Please note that forms are only valid for one year from the signing date. If you are unsure whether or not you have a valid form on file, please log in to my ARDMS and click on the clinical verification menu often. Option. Gosh, I can't read. Each examination fee includes a $100 non-refundable processing fee. A $50 US fee will be assessed for, oh, I just talked about that earlier. Veterans of the US Armed Forces, uh, click here for information about GI Bill reimbursement program. So yay, so on the bottom it says, upload the documentation listed in the required documents and payment information column above into your My ARDMS account by following these steps. So I can log into the account, select upload documents under the My Resources tab, and then follow the listed instructions and be sure to select the application documents file type from the drop down. Please be sure that everything required is uploaded to your account by close of business on Saturday, January 30th. If we do not receive all the required documentation by that date, your application will be canceled and a partial refund will be issued. A $100 non-refundable processing fee per examination is withheld. So with that, that was pretty easy. That's how fast it takes to just apply. So I'm gonna click exit and that's it. So let me show you real quick the clinical verification form that I have for pediatric sonography. So this is the pediatric sonography clinical verification form. And a lot of times, you know, people who let's say they are in a general program and they're learning OB and they're learning abdomen and they don't get to learn vascular well if you want to get uh, registered in vascular you have to get this clinical verification form signed by somebody who has the vascular registry under their name and you have to scan a certain amount of hours and a certain amount of patients all the requirements are are on ardms.org but you can be able to have someone sign this clinical verification form so that you can take the vascular exam even though they didn't teach you vascular in your program but with that being said i have this clinical verification form and the person who is going to sign me off who's sponsoring me basically will sign their initials they'll state that i was able to do all these things and then basically i just will upload this to my account apparently Oh yeah, see, please upload this form to your account within 21 days. So cool. So I'm gonna upload that and then we're gonna keep on studying. <laughs> I think once that goes in, you get to decide when you wanna take your test and at which location you wanna take it at. There are multiple testing sites you get to choose. They have certain availabilities and yeah, that's pretty much it. That literally took five minutes like not even longer i mean it would have probably been faster if my internet didn't go all crazy on me but hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and as always be kind to one another stay safe stay positive and we'll see you in the next video bye